This is a captivating tale of Nora Altakaka, the Kuwaiti singer whose melodies resonated not only with the mortals but with ethereal beings. As the Jinn, Altakaka was a singer and drummer in the 1990s and she would be frequently booked to perform at weddings of elites, parties and many other large-scale events. One day she receives a phone call for an inquiry. Paula asked her if she and her band were available for a performance at a wedding and she agreed to the proposal. As the day came, Nora Altakaka, along with her band, went to the location, a house. Upon reaching the residence, they could see that it was in fact a massive mansion decked out in lavish trimmings. Any women came to greet Nora and the band because she was popular and well-known. As they kissed on the cheeks, one of Nora's bandmates, Anne Nur Altakaka, noticed that the women's cheeks were very hot, like they all had a fever and had a very manly feel. They ignored this and proceeded and performed. As they were performing, they saw women dancing with hands full of hair. And when their skirts moved a little bit up, they noticed the women had legs of lamb stabbed with knives and forks. Some say that this some say that this is a sign of a jinn being present. They decided to continue the performance for fear of the unknown. A few minutes passed and the bride and groom came and sat on chairs, placed inside a figure with a wide open mouth. Within five minutes of their arrival, the lights went out and it was completely dark and the team found time to escape and until they were stopped by a man who found it unusual that a group of women were running like that at 3 a.m. in the night. As he further interrogated Nur al-Takaka, she narrated to him the whole incident. However, the man told them that the mansion had been abandoned for many years and no one lived there, fine enough to give Nora and her band a safe ride to their place. That was the day Nora al-Takaka left her profession. The story of Nora Altakaka, the Kuwaiti singer who sang at the wedding of the jinns, lingers in our hearts and minds, reminding us of the endearing fascination with the mystical.